Easter. It was never about uh, bunnies or does fail or. It was never about bunnies or eggs. It was about Jesus dying on the cross. And for any atheists who are watching this, uh, feel free to stay. Um, and just in case you're wondering about what Easter is, and this is the video for you. So, let's do it. Since a lot of us Christian knows, uh, Jesus was the son of God. But some people did not believe that. So, what evil people decided to do, well, actually, I take it back, not evil, but people who didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God, they decided to crucify him. Basically, crucifying is, uh, nailing somebody onto a cross. It does not sound fun whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Ouch. So, from what I've read, apparently he died at 9 p.m. He suffered from the cross for six hours. Ouch! I would not like to go through that. But, he paid the ultimate price for us. He paid for us to go to heaven. We can now go to heaven because he died for our sins. So every time that you sin, if you pray for forgiveness, he will forgive you and so will God. And if you believe that Jesus died on the cross, you will have a special place in heaven. After Jesus' death, once they realized that Jesus was God's son, once Jesus died, at that moment, an earthquake shakes the ground. They finally realized that Jesus was the son of God. Jesus said before he died that he would return in three days. And well, what do you know? He did. At dawn that morning, Mary and her other friends of Jesus hurry to the tomb. Now that the Sabbath is over, they want to put spices on Jesus' body for a proper burial. They wonder who will help them move the stone, but when they reach the garden, the tomb was already open. Mary runs back to Jerusalem to tell Peter and John that someone has stolen Jesus' body. The other women go in the tomb and find an angel seated there. The angel said, Don't be frightened, Jesus is risen. Go and tell his disciples. When Peter and John hear Mary's news, they race to the tombs to see for themselves. By the time Mary returns to the garden, the others have gone. She stands outside the tomb crying, but a familiar voice speaks to her. Why are you crying? Mary then realized that it was Jesus. Jesus stayed on earth for 40 days and helped his disciples to truly prove that he was alive. Jesus explains how he has completed God's work. He is the savior of the world. Now it's their turn to carry on God's work. Jesus tells them to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. Then with his followers gathered around him on the Mount of Olives near Bethany, Jesus ascends into heaven. In awe and wonder, Jesus' followers stand and look up into heaven as if to catch one more glimpse of the master they love. Suddenly two angels appear. Why do you stay here looking at the sky? Jesus has taken to heaven. But he will come back the same way you saw him go. So, his disciples decided to go and spread the word of Jesus. And that is what Easter is about.